Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Summoning of Valorant Tournament. We're here entering round three, I believe, very, very soon. I'm Matthias, also known as Matthias, once again, and I'm joined by Ari. Ari, what are your thoughts on what we've witnessed here today? Uh... I thought Snorlax was pretty cool. Snorlax, Snorlax was from Tedward Gaming. Absolute force of nature, living up to the Pokemon's name, unleashing hyper beams on the enemy force. But now I don't quite know what the matchup is. I think this is Mickey Mouse Clubhouse once again on the right. I don't know who they're going to be facing. Though. Phase Up, I think, was the team name. Phase Up. All right. So it's another kind of play on a on a bigger team phase oh, up yeah. phase it's not the phase clan though legally no. distinct it is not it yeah. is not they just phase up i don't i don't think phase clan would show up to uh oh they might Javelin. we might we never know we'll have to see what they can do maybe they're on the same level of skill much like tedward gaming is on the same level of skill as edward gaming we shall have to see you know you can't take these names li lightly names have power names have reputations That's true. You're right. and now we also have a lot of other stuff going on here today the vg or the fgc scene is here and vibrant and alive if you're into that sort of thing you should stop on by play a few games we have Smash Melee, we have Smash Ultimate, we have Tekken 8, and we have Street Fighter 6. We have so many games, so many awesome things happening here today. And if you're a TCG fan, TCG is happening throughout the day as well. Cool, yeah, lots of things to do, lots of fun to be had. I think I saw some other um, like stalls in the cafeteria as well with the stuff in it. Anyways, we're going into the game now. Phase Up versus Mickey Mouse Clubhouse on Ascent. We didn't get a lot of time to look at the team comps, but there's a clove on the side of Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Okay, I always love seeing clove. And a Reyna on phase up. So pretty non-standard as far as as uh, team comps go. I think you're right. These are two very um, experimental teams, I will say. A little yeah. bit more personalized teams, not the blank slate that we always see go in here. A little bit more personality to it. Mm -hmm. That Reyna, I feel like, will be pretty strong but i think reina did see a few adjustments some buffs some nerfs to a few abilities yeah, so yeah it her ult off. doesn't run out anymore yeah it should be interesting i think this clove is going to be definitely a strong pick though yeah i always love seeing clove i really honestly like clove on ascent i don't know exactly why something about it is just uh i like it a lot anyways mickey mouse clubhouse making their way in front of b main about to walk in walking down mid as well DOV 35 tries to get the kill, but the shots don't connect. The second engagement does go their way, though. They get that kill onto Cloud and the overheal. And Mickey Mouse Clubhouse uses that to, tr to start to try to... Okay, never mind. I thought they were going to be exact. They did not do that. It went back mid. Ant and Doomsie go down to phase up, and now it is a 2v3 in favor of phase up. Just a war of attrition, whittling down a one, though. It looks like Mickey Mouse Clubhouse is going to be the one to lose it as they get a trade, but that's not enough. They have no more bodies to throw at this problem. And now phase up takes the first round and should take a comfortable lead here. Yeah, Kinetic got three that round, which is good. It's a pretty good opening. Really good opening. Yeah. We're seeing Jets get a lot of performance in this tournament. Oh yeah. I'm not surprised really. Jet's always been that sort of staple duelist. Kind of crazy how, uh, considering how many metas there have been in this game, like Jet always ends up having a place on one map or another. Yeah, they never nerfed Jet. It's because I think Jet has such a strong kit and such a strong passive as well. True, even after that... they did nerf her. But uh, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse once again running it down B main this time. Elvis at the B main choke, it does not find any kills. Larry Banks sending out that shock dart. It does do a lot of chip damage, but no kills come through yet. No kills, just a standstill, just a little bit of damage back and forth. Mickey Mouse, their jets one sneeze away from death here. Kinetic here holding the mid side as well. Looks like we're seeing a big rotate out from Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. So we see Send the Rainer up front, taking out one. It's going to be taken out right back by Doomsie. Or a man pushed up, has that marshal towards mid. I'm not sure if they're aware of it. Oh, nope. Uh, as I say that, not a, it's not a marshal, it's an outlaw. My bad. Yeah, Doomsie yep. does go down to that outlaw. Or a man spamming through the smoke, but it does not find another cutty. Slowly walked up, trying to trade their teammates. 
classic shots are being fired, but no <laughs> kills come through as it is a pretty convincing round win for the side of phase up. Oh, the outlaw is so lethal on those rounds where they have to save, where they buy those light shields and just shred them with one shot to the body. That's it, you're all said and done. Now looking at the rest of this team, we're going to see Oraman sticking with that outlaw. But now, because it was a little bit more of an expensive buy last time for phase up, it's going to be at a di they're going to be at a gun disadvantage going into this next round. Mm, they do have an Odin though. I think that's kind of like their the glass cannon sort of because whoever, whoever bought that Odin was uh, his broke now. Putting up that aggressive one way, kind of trying to deny that a main space kinetic pushed up, waiting for somebody to swing through. But Mickey Mouse Clubhouse is smarter than that. They know better than that, and they respect that one way. Meanwhile, Ant walking up Cat. Unfortunately, does go down to the Outlaw by Oraman. But I don't think that DOV35 was yeah. clear. They don't know that they're there, but it doesn't matter because all of Mickey Mouse Clubhouse is a main kinetic by Dice. Does get those two clean headshots. Oraman following up with the trade, and it is a 1v4 in favor of Phase Up. Doomsy has to do this all on his own. All on his lonesome. There's the omen approaching. Almost gets the kill, but not quite. Are they gonna filter in one by one? Will he take them all down? The shock carries come out. Tries to go for a light, like right click, but right click is gonna end him right there. The judge. Hmm. So Reyna and Judge. How do you feel? How do you feel about judging Reyna's? I think it's all right. It's <laughs> kind of hard to play against because she gets that kill. She can keep on the aggression here, a reposition. She can get into bad positions and just get out for pretty much for free. Mm, unless true. she gets that, that one kill. True, true. Fair enough. Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, they do love their B hits. They are once again starting just aggressive in B lobby. Looking to what to what looks like a just full five-man B hit. I want them to win. You know, we've followed this team throughout the entire three rounds. Oh, what a have a good time, but it's looking like phase up is just phasing up right now. <laughs> as they get one, two, almost three off the board. B main hold is immaculate. Elvis, they're unaware of the Odin. It doesn't even matter, though, because DOV 35, they just get those two judge kills. Last person's position is known. DOV you're running it down, and Elvis is there to clean it up with another quick round from Phase Up. Yeah, Phase Up getting a four wins on the board already is absolutely amazing for them. Their economy is booming, and I don't know how Mickey Mouse Clubhouse is going to get get back in this. They have enough to buy full this one time and I think they have enough loss bonus after this round to keep on doing that mm. but they're still not having easy rounds here. It's another hit towards in B lobby but this time it seems like they're going towards tiles instead. Doomsy stunning that B main peak unfortunately the stun misses and Cloud does go down to Elvis. Elvis getting a cl clean two kills start the round already the bomb is down and now Mickey Mouse Clubhouse have to try to win it back and swinging Get, gets the kill onto Elvis, gets another kill onto Larry Banks. Cuddy does get the kill on Kinetic on the other side of the map. Spike is retrieved. It is now a 3v2 in favor of Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, bringing the round back from the brink. Cuddy gets another kill, is traded out by Orman, and it is a 1v2 in favor of Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Yeah, they need this one now more than ever. Going for a big teleport here across the map. They're going to for sure hear that one. That is not a quiet alt. And now he needs to play this carefully. He has some smokes he can set up, but will he be able to do so? He finds one. He knows the other's back sight. He sees the tremor. Gets a little bit confused. Doesn't have the crosshair placement. Now Mickey Mouse Clubhouse gets one on the board. Not bad. Not. You know, a win is a win. I'm not going to lie. I didn't really like what I saw out of Ant there, just kind of uh, walking up by themselves. Um, Doomsy was not in a position to trade there, stuck in back boat. Luckily, the breach util came through, and he was able to get that kill onto Aura Man, but it was definitely too close for comfort I think way too close for my liking but hey a win is a win they can still full buy and they have four alts so um, I don't know I'm gonna bet if this round uh, does not go the way of Mickey Mouse Clubhouse I will um, I don't know what I'll do <laughs> because the round is already starting I didn't get to finish my thought kinetic starts it out with two kills Cuddy does get one but still man advantage is up for phase up yeah phase up 
Gonna be one man up, but will they be able to take this up to get up onto this site? And now there's two alts on the board for Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Don't think they're gonna use them here because they're in a little bit of a rough shape right now. They're trying to get a kill. Phase up, playing very, very aggressive. Uh, actually, defensive here as Mickey Mouse Clubhouse just rushing in onto this site. Yeah, and they didn't even have the bomb, too. I'm not really... It seems like Mickey Mouse Clubhouse doesn't have that much of a plan. Um, I don't think I, so. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's understandable just because, you know, round robin, best of one. But, um, yeah, it's, it's Kinetic just... Wow, an ace. Yeah, just easy ace for Kinetic. I feel like they've played that dice spot before and it's just worked out for them. Yeah, very well. They always get a kill or two there. Yeah, they've just played very, very well time and time again. And now, this is looking a little bit dire for Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. I'm sure they got a point on the board, but that kind of almost hurt them as that reset their loss bonus back yeah, down on eco to now. nothing. They're going to be on eco for a while. They have a lot of alts on the board. You can definitely try and win this round and get themselves back in this, but... yeah. It's going to be very tough. Pretty sure Ant is going to pop knives. Yep, as I say that. Knives have been popped. Ant looking out towards Charles, trying to get that pick onto Cat. Larry Banks sending that dart up to B main. And it looks like Mickey Mouse Clubhouse is going to try to go for an A push. Rohu does get that pick with the Sheriff onto D35. Kinetic sensing the pressure, does back up, give that Cat control. But now Mickey Mouse Clubhouse have options. They can reset. Uh, Larry okay, Banks never, could just, never mind. Let me just destroy not their whole plan. <laughs> Let me just not ever speak again because Larry Banks just out of absolutely nowhere gets three and picks up another two, evening out the stakes a little bit. One enemy remaining. And Larry Cardi Banks on, on the angle. fourth, on for the ace. Two aces Larry from two Banks different players. Just... Yeah, I don't know. I think I think Larry Banks heard me. <laughs> I think <laughs> because so. Because I didn't even get to finish what I was that saying. That is the cast. And he curse. caught three. Yeah. Uh, he caught five by the end of it, getting yeah. another ace on the board. Someone who, judging on the ace, only had two kills prior, just an absolute out of nowhere. Sneaky guy sneaking around, getting the. <laughs> just. <laughs> I don't know. I'm out of I'm at a loss for words here and now they've also evened up the alt score line. Their economy's good. Phase up. Moving up to their name. Yeah, phase up going up for another aggressive peak. Kinetic going for that aggressive peak towards B main and trying to get that shot onto whoever is bottom mid. That would be Orman with the outlaw again, I believe. Larry Banks also trying to go for that aggressive push, but does end up giving the space. Kinetic is spotted, decides not to take that fight, and meanwhile DOV thirty five is peaking up mid. And Elvis, every everyone on phase up is just getting aggressive. All the kind of just individual aggressive pushes and they're just winning the fights. They know they can win them. Elvis gets two and B main. Cloud does trade it out. But still, man advantage is up is in favor of phase up. So it's a risky play there from that cipher. It didn't have much out there. Yeah, so I don't think they're aware of Larry Banks. I don't think they know. Well, now they know. Now they know. Well, he's just dancing them. through these bullets. Oh, God. Having a Matrix moment. And, and wow. Blind. Look at that. Larry Banks cashing in all this money here with Kinetic. Who trading left, right, and center. One HP and a dream for this Glove. If you want Clove on your team, you usually want them to fall Clean. first so they can have that util. So I feel like we've seen this exact game, like, the past two matches. <laughs> this is the third time now that we've seen a seven to one scoreline. And still I'm noticing so like so many of the same issues that I saw in previous games from Mickey Mouse Clubhouse where they just don't like they're 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 rushing it too much. They don't take their time. They kind of just um like they they keep doing these aggressive five man pushes with like the only end goal in sight is maybe, you know, win the round, but they don't know how they're going to win the round. Um Kind of, they're boxing themselves in almost, kind of just. They're running it down. Yeah, they're running it down and it's not working and they're kind of refusing to do something else. Hey, you know, you slam your head into a wall enough time, everything seems like a good plan at that point. True, Let's eventually see. the bricks will break. Exactly, there we are, and maybe we're starting to see that here. Now we're seeing two kills go over. The detain goes in on the Reina. That's got to be pretty bad. There's only two left on the side of Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. This club needs to try and do something here, but it's not going to work out as two of them fall in synchronicity. I think the club popped their ult as well, so Ooh. they have no more club ults up. That's disastrous. Yeah. 
No, they still have it. Oh, oops. Oh, maybe I just heard the noise. I don't know. I always think that noise means that they popped it, but I think it's just when it's uh. I think that's like the I don't I don't want to call it Star Guardian. Whatever the little cute <laughs> creatures are. Maybe. The magical girl guns. I think they have like a very similar sound when you get the mm. round ending kill. All right. Makes everything sparkly. Ah, I love that spray. That's one of my favorites. That cat one's in a good. box. Box cat. Always, always fun to see some cats. It's always fun to see some crazy things. I feel like we're going to see something crazy. Kinetic does have his ult going very aggressive in that corner. Larry Banks sees one, gets one, wow. gets two for free. I mean, what else can be said at this point? Cloud taking that duel versus Larry Banks. Does end up winning it out. Doomsie trying to support with a stun from top mid, but oh, it does not the res. anything. Cl Clove, Rez does come up, trying to fight for their life. It's a 3v1. DOV35 gets that clean one tap, and it's just a team ace. Near flawless round from phase up. I feel like a broken record. I feel like I have to talk about something other than what's going on on screen because otherwise I'd just be saying the same things over again with, oh, uh, phase up is uh, there's one pushing up aggressive B main and one taking the peak, kinetic taking the peak on A, and somebody is peaking cat, probably DOV 35. It's just like, why fix what's not broken? You know what I mean? Like, exactly. It's Being aggressive is working for them, and I think phase up can tell they're definitely out aiming Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. And they're using that very much to their advantage. <laughs> Another five man B push from I, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Like, the, the rush works if you can win the gunfight. So when a guy gets two to three kills yeah, on your rush. But I, I actually love the uh, the decision making from Larry Banks here just to play off site, you know, almost immediately recognizing that it is a that five man push, saving their life, waiting for their team. Or a man does come in with that support from Market DOV 35, gets that first pick. Cuddy, though, is already on site, does get a little bit of that spam damage. It's just absolute chaos on the site. There's already people swarming in from lane. Doomsy goes down. Cuddy trying to fight for their life. People are jumping around. People are dying. Elvis closes out the round with two kills. And it's just 10 to 1. It's 10 to up. 1. We got one more round in this half. And I... If I could bet, I think this one's going to go to phase up. That last round was close. That was close. But... This running it down mentality for yeah. Mickey Mouse Clubhouse is not working. Yeah. Well, is it the is it the 18 and three jet that, that sells you on that? I think it's just the fact that Phase Up is consistently getting these multi kills. Yeah, fair. Like they're not getting these trades too much. They're usually taking one or two down. If you throw multiple at them, they'll play it like it's aim labs. Hmm. I th honestly, I think they kind of consider it aim labs. That stun, oh, the that stun doesn't matter. The the support utility is good, though. Ant doesn't get that kill on the oh, kinetic. Oh, Don't ult. expect the judge. DOV35 does end up getting two of their own with that judge, but is traded out by Doomsie. And before I can even finish my sentence, Larry Banks gets three. And, yeah, like, what else can I say? The round is over. This <laughs> and phase up is up 11 to 1. This Absolutely dominant half. Yeah, this pistol round is the game-winning pistol round. This game could go on just a little bit further if Mickey Mouse Clubhouse does win this one. But if FaZe Up win, wins this one, that it will be the nail in the coffin, especially if some of them survive this round. Mm -hmm. They are going to be up so much. Don't think it's going to be possible for Mickey Mouse Clubhouse Thank to come back you. from this. Yeah, Thank and you. even if they do win this round, Thank FaZe Up you. is more than capable of, of getting that thrifty win, I think. I don't even need to see it to believe it. Yeah, some people do say the defense on Ascent is the easier portion, but right honestly, right I think here. defense, offense, phase up has this one. Me too. Phase up doing a just pretty standard mid play. I'm not sure if that stun actually hit anyone, but uh, it doesn't matter because DO335 swings through the smoke, the trades go out. In favor of phase up, big surprise. <laughs> Omen has wow. a sheriff. Do V35 getting three on the round, and now it is Cuddy alone in a 1v4. The bomb is not down yet. There's so much time left in the round. Phase up has everything at their disposal. Cuddy does end up getting that kill onto Kinetic, but is traded out by Do 35 for their fourth kill in the round, putting Phase up at match point. Yeah, match point. They still have some money left in the, or they still had some play, three players up. Oh no. Five outlaws. You know, you think that might be a meme pick, <laughs> but I, the only person who will be able to live an outlaw shot is going to be Ant with that sheriff. Yeah. Um, Even then, outlaw 
you have two shots. You can just rapid fire and take them down even though you have armor. Yeah, not to mention um, the just team support uh, on its own. Oh no. Oh. oh no, the Reyna they don't taking get down the one person with armor. And oh no, DOV 35 hitting that rat corner. Does end up getting two is traded out by Doomsy, but still the one person with armor. That bomb is, is down and, though. And, and yeah, bomb is down. This is still doable. Larry Banks does get that first, gets a lot of damage though. Barely living that shock dart, using the smokes to their advantage. And Elvis gets that kill on Oroku, and it leaves Cuddy in a 1v3 against three outlaws. Yep, three outlaws, it's all that's left on the board here. And Mickey Mouse Clubhouse has one more player with a stinger. It's not a bad gun, but you don't have the range advantage here. You have to try and hit Larry Banks before he hits you. And you don't do it, Larry Banks. Always on point. How could you blame him? 13 to 1 is a scoreline. Phase up, living up to their name. Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. <sighs> Not going to take any of these matches today, unfortunately. But we appreciate you coming out here. Yeah. Honestly, it was a good try. I enjoyed casting um, their games. And I don't know. I wish them all the best for. Um their future endeavors, whatever they decide to do. Very, very well played from phase up though. Honestly, like just clean Valorant. Really well played. Some of it, I don't, I don't think it was a fundamentals thing as much as it was a- uh, Just like a experience an, practice thing. Yeah, honestly. Like, and that's okay. Yeah, they'll get there someday. They, are, they have, like we said, the seeds of potential. As long as they embrace them, I'm sure they can go to even higher heights. But once again, we have more things going on today. FGC is booming. The fighting game community has come out in droves today mm -hmm, for all of these games. It is absolutely massive, so props to them. But we're also not done Valorant. I think we're just done the round robin portion. And now we're going to be moving on to the semifinals and the grand finals for today. But that's all going to be happening after a break. Do you have any predictions or teams you'll think you'll see? Phase up. Phase up? Easily. I think so. I think it's going to be phase up versus oh, what was the other Tedward team? Gaming. Tedward Gaming in the finals. Yeah, I think that's That's going to be see. a banger. That's going to be a good match. I hope they play each other. Yeah, me too. But with all that being said, we're going to throw it to a quick break, and we'll be right back with more Valorant action. 